Hi, I'm Deborah Atkinson, and this is the Flipping 50 Show, where I help you reset, tune up, and prepare for the second and best half of your life with the energy and the vitality that you want. In every episode, I answer questions from women just like you about their toughest challenge, their struggles with what to eat, how to exercise, and lifestyle habits that'll help give them the energy and vitality that they want. If you have a question, send it to me at flippingtv.com. And if I choose your question for the show, I'm gonna send you some exclusive gifts. I'll share a little bit more about that later. Even if I don't choose your question, I'm gonna send you my Muscles in Minutes gift for toning those hard to tone areas. And if you have cellulite, you're gonna love this. Today's question comes from Laura, whose biggest struggle is time. Laura writes, my biggest challenge is sticking to a program, making myself a priority and being consistent with exercise and eating healthy. Sound familiar? I have two kids, 12 and 14, and I work full time and then run them to after school activities. My day is really busy starting at 6 a.m., taking the dog out, then getting me and the kids ready for the day. I have some time around 4 to 6 p.m., but lately I've been so tired all the time, I don't feel like exercising, and that's usually when I'm making dinner for the family. She goes on to tell me, lately my hormones seem crazy because my period's all over the place, and I tend to snack too much because I'm tired and I end up making bad food choices. I have congenital hip dysplasia that limits my ability to exercise some days more than others. Laura rates her stress level at about a seven or eight on a 10 scale, and she wants more energy and noticeable muscle tone. Laura, congratulations, you know yourself really well. In fact, you started partially solving your problem with what you wrote. Let's take a look at those three key things you told me. Laura, the first thing you told me is you're so tired lately that you're making bad choices. Nobody makes great choices when they're tired, in fact, if you're sleep deprived even two hours, you make decisions the same way someone with a blood alcohol level who would be qualified as drunk makes decisions. Nobody makes good choices when they're drunk. Number two, you told me sticking to exercise or prioritizing yourself was hard. Nobody sticks with a plan unless they've got one and they know why what they're doing is important. I'm gonna give you some simple Minute Maid meals and Minute Maid exercises and help you understand why they're important so you'd be more motivated to do it. And the third thing was you have a hard time being consistent with healthy eating. So what we're gonna do is qualify what is healthy eating and make sure that because your period's all over the place and your stress level's high, your cortisol's calling the shots that we put you back in charge. You're living in a house with a 12 and a 14 year old who probably like pizza, pasta, tacos, burgers, and that can be a digestive nightmare for you. So let's figure out how we can make a few flips, reduce inflammation, help you and the whole family have more fun at every meal. So let's get started with Muscles in Minutes. Welcome to Minute Maid Muscles. This is where you meet your best exercise partner, consistency. Laura, we're gonna be really thoughtful about your exercise because with hip dysplasia, you've got an obstacle, but it's also an asset because it's gonna mean you can't afford to skip exercise. So you're gonna be really consistent. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we're gonna have you doing interval training on either your bike or gazelle. And we're gonna introduce you to a pool on the weekends. Tuesdays and Thursdays, you're gonna do the strength training routine that strengthens your hip without stressing your hip. And before you get started, you're gonna be up for a while, you're gonna walk the dog, and then you're gonna do juicing the joints right before you get started. And I'm gonna show you that right now. So Laura, when we do juicing the joints, literally what we're doing is trying to release synovial fluid in the joint so it's much more comfortable for you to work through range of motion of any kind. So what we're gonna do is have you lie on the floor to take the pressure off of your joints. What I want you to do is with both legs extended straight out, draw one knee in toward your chest, let that just fall out to the side, 
and then straightening the leg, rotate your knee back to the ceiling. Starting again, draw the knee in, allow it to fall out to the side, extend the leg, let the knee fall face up, and begin again. Do that five times, then we're gonna reverse the direction. So you're gonna rotate out, bending the knee, pulling it toward you. End with that knee closer to your chest, and then extend back out to the starting position. So it's rotate as you draw the knee in and up. Bring the knee back toward the ceiling and straighten that leg out again. Five times each direction on both legs. You just finished walking the dog, been up for a little while, and you've done juice in the joints. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you're gonna do this interval protocol on your gazelle or your bike, rotating days, so we rotate the kind of stress that you have on your hip on any given day. Here's how it's gonna go. You're gonna start with softer, easier intervals. Progressively, they're gonna get more difficult for the 20 minutes that you're gonna go about them. Starting with a minute easy and 30 seconds really hard, and a minute easy and 30 seconds really hard, and so on for about 20 minutes. Let's roll. Laura, you're gonna start with a nice, easy pedal. So easy spin, not a lot of resistance, not even a lot of speed, and get it up to a point where you start to feel your core temperature picking up. Not quite sweating, but you're gonna get there quickly. After you've gone about a minute, you're gonna either increase your resistance or you're gonna increase your speed. And I want you to pick it up for 30 seconds. Going uphill, you gotta give it some gas. As hard as you can. Once you get a little breathless, I want you to be glad when that 30 seconds is up. Then you can back off, slow down a little bit, reduce your resistance, and catch your breath. Laura, keep in mind everything is a little bit better with music. So if you want to plug in those earbuds or you want to turn on the TV while you're biking, that's okay. That one minute rest. You're gonna pick it right back up, 30 seconds hard. And to keep that going for 20 minutes. Great ride, Laura. Let's show you what you do on the other days of the week. If you want a super simple way to get in a high powered breakfast, high protein breakfast, or get a high protein snack on the go, protein shakes make it super simple. And I've got three options for you to try in two amazing flavors, creamy vanilla or decadent chocolate. And right now, I've got two coupon codes for you to use. Flipping5010 or Flipping55 will give you $10 or $5 off Your Way or Girls Gone Paleo or Plant Powered Girl, respectively. So go to foreverfitandfab.com and get yours today. Lori just finished juicing the joints. You're gonna go right on to exercises that strengthen your hip without stressing your hip. So I'm gonna show you two exercises with the ball, followed by two upper body exercises. What I want you to do is go through this little series three times, and that'll be your routine for Tuesdays and Thursdays. Starting with a bridge on the hip, weight in the center of your head, you're gonna lift straight up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, stay up. And you're gonna curl those knees in, keeping the knees together. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Next up, we go to your chest press and your bent over row. Laura, for your chest press, you wanna be sitting on a ball with your hips a little bit higher than your knees and weights that you can lift up to 15 times. And even if you can only get 10 or 12, that's okay. Hold them close to your chest and then roll out. Knees, hips, shoulders, right at tabletop position. You're gonna take those weights and push them together so the thumbs are together, pinkies are apart. 
and bring it down right to beside you, but not hanging down below you. Here we go. One, two, three, keep those hips up, four, five, six, make sure your head and neck is comfortable, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and if you're tired, you can stop, 13, 14, 15 is it. Pull your weights together at your chest, tuck your chin in, and roll back up. So Laura, with your bent over row, you may want the same weights and you may want a little heavier weight. So remember, your key is still weights that you can lift up to 15 times, but no more. And if you can only do 10 or 12, that's okay too. So what I want you to keep in mind when you go into the position is you're gonna keep yourself straight through the back and take care of your head and your neck. Make sure they're an extension of your spine. So you're gonna pull one and let it come down slow. And two, and slowly, elbows close. Three, four, five, six, seven. Check in, make sure your weight's on your heels. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, hang in there, 13, 14, and 15, and done. Laura, there you have it. Two exercises for your lower body, a push and a pull. What I want you to do between doing that, a total of three times, is one plank. So it's gonna look like this. On your forearms, I want you to use your core, come up, make sure you're pushing back through your heels, solid, thinking about your thighs and your core, tuck your chin down and hold that for 30 to 60 seconds. So there you have it, Laura, that's your Minute Maid muscles. The number one mistake most women make with their exercise though is not fueling enough after their exercise. So let's head into the kitchen for Minute Maid meals. Laura, breakfast is one of the hardest meals of the day for most women to get adequate protein in, and breakfast and post-exercise meals are the most important times for a woman after 50 who wants to stay lean to get that protein in. So come with me. This is where we grab the pre-made smoothie, all ready to go. All we have to do is add the liquid. So Laura, you have a couple of minutes before you have to get you and the kids ready for school. So you're gonna make this breakfast in seconds. This pre-made smoothie that you did over the weekend. Goes right into the blender. Add your liquid. Be sure the lid's on. Rich, thick, antioxidants, full of berries, full of avocado and spinach. And this is your Minute Mid breakfast, Laura. So Laura, that was breakfast. Now we need to talk about the rest of the day. We've got two things to consider. We wanna figure out how we can use food to turn inflammation off because certain foods turn inflammation on. It's like a faucet. So what we wanna do is eliminate the things that turn inflammation on for you. Sugar's a big one. So you know that candy dish that's probably at the office. Keep it off your desk, put it across the room, and better yet, put a lid on it so you can't see the candy. But also, you've gotta consider gluten, wheat, eggs, soy, and dairy. A lot of good, healthy foods might just be turning inflammation on on you. Making that hip, 
a little bit worse, but also making you more resistant to weight loss. Best way to know is to test and not guess. And I'm gonna walk you through that in the After 50 Fitness Formula for Women course. But for now, we're gonna to try to turn off inflammation by increasing the amount of healthy fats that you ate. So that smoothie we had this morning had a little avocado in it. Now you're gonna focus on ground flaxseed, chia, coconut oil, other ways that you can add healthy fat all day long and decrease your inflammation and increase the potential that you can be at your optimal weight. So with that in mind, Laura, we've got three goals with your Minute Maid meals. We're gonna keep that anti-inflammatory kinds of foods in mind. We're gonna make things kid and family friendly so you're not making two meals, one for you and one for them. And we're gonna get you in and out of the kitchen in a flash. And welcome to your dinner bar. It's gonna take you minutes, Laura, for dinner to be on the table. Laura, this is all stuff that you're gonna pull out of the refrigerator in minutes. Things that you made over the weekend in batches of taco meat, pizza, pasta sauces, so that you've got your whole week covered. In just a few seconds, you're already ready. And you pull things out so everybody gets to pick and choose what they like, the flavors they want, and somebody may want tacos, somebody may want that tortilla, but you, you might choose to do a taco salad or you're gonna choose romaine tacos so you can skip the gluten and the wheat and those inflammatory foods that might just prevent you from losing the weight you want. And that's it in minutes. You've got Minute Made meals that are simple and simply delicious. Let's talk pillow talk. Laura, in order for you to be an overnight success, you need a pillow talk routine. And that means something you do on a regular basis. You need to leave two to three hours between dinner and bedtime so your body doesn't have to figure out, do I digest or do I repair and recover for tomorrow? That's important for two reasons. We need less cortisol, which is gonna cause you cravings tomorrow and rob you of that energy that you wanna have. And you want more growth hormone so you can see that muscle definition that you're working on with your Minute Maid muscles. Don't forget that you're gonna be getting up 30 minutes earlier in order to fit that in. So pretty soon, it's gotta be lights out. Laura, so originally you told me that your biggest challenge was time. Now that you know you've got certain obstacles that are gonna show up all the time, you've got a system and a strategy to deal with those with Minute Maid muscles so you know what to do every morning when you wake up and Minute Maid meals so that you're ready every weekday afternoon with the answer to what's for dinner and you're ready with an overnight success strategy and pillow talk routine so you're gonna wake up every morning ready to go. Laura, thanks so much for submitting your question. Let us know how it goes. And now I'd like to hear from you. Have you had that same kind of time challenge or for you, is it something else? Send me your question to flipping50tv.com and I'll send you, if I use your question, exclusive access to the After 50 Fitness Formula for Women course, plus a copy of You Still Got It Girl, the book. And even if I don't use your question right away, I'm gonna send you my Muscles in Minutes guide to toning those hard to reach areas so you can get started immediately. And Anne Marie Skincare is gonna send you some sweet products so you look good from the inside out. Brush on over to flipping50tv.com and send me your question right now. And I'll see you on the flip side.